What's up guys, Daniel here, and before we start, I do want to apologize, I haven't put any videos out as of recently, dealing with a few stuff, and as you may or may not know, I have also become a moderator on Henry from Fun Game Reviews live streams. I'll go ahead and leave a link to his channel in the description below, if for some reason you haven't heard of him. He does do live streams quite regularly every night at around 9 p.m. Pacific time zone. He also does a few live stream games, which if you win, you can go ahead and redeem for a few different rewards. But enough of that, we'll just go ahead and just jump into this. All right, so the first thing on the list, which will be added Valentine's Day packs. This will be the same format in every single update. They'll add different buy jewel packs for every single update. But that's not too terribly important. What is of note is the second one in the list which is Wonton and Enchantress. They are both getting their enlightenment, but the special effect about these ones is they have something that has not been done before. These ones will have special effects when they are actually used together. At max level insight for Enchantress, when you put both her and Wonton in the battle together, Wonton adds 100% extra attack, so basically doubles the attack when you use both of them together. At every single insight level, it does look to be about 5% difference. So it does look like it'll probably start off at 5% extra attack for Enchantress and Wonton together at level 1 insight. Just go up 5% from there. But now we're on the third option, which will be the Abhorrent Aegis. The new equipment that IGG is rolling out. As you may have seen on Clash of Lords 2's Instagram, it says Abhorrent Aegis helps you to shield and transfer damage to an enemy hero, but it didn't give too much information aside from that, and that's what we're here for. But that new shield, what it does is when either that hero that has it equipped, or a nearby hero takes a certain percentage of damage within a second, it has a percent chance to absorb a percent of that damage and just pass on whatever's left to the hero, but it also has a percent chance to reflect damage to a random target hero and the damage reflection has another percent chance to ignore any damage reduction effect so say they have a berserker or they have a arctic lord or any sort of aid that reduces damage it'll go ahead and have a chance to bypass that so it's effectively another version of the tyrant's brand but more tanky but we're just going to go ahead and jump into the next one and this is something that both top players and myself do like quite a bit they're going to be adding a whole new stage to El Dorado. This stage will be past Opsidrake. It'll be a whole new stage. This will be really, really fun for both myself and a lot of top players as well. Because they don't really have anything to do in El Dorado. They beat it quite a while ago. Hopefully it should be quite difficult. And should have quite a bit of good rewards that we can use to level up our equipment even faster. This will be really, really nice. Let's go to the fifth spot. This spot is optimized guild united rewards at each stage, which is basically those levels, like the level 1 through level 15s. There are three incentives for the player to choose from, which makes the rewards from the guild united just that much better, which is really, really awesome. But for the sixth point, the equipment can now be smelted for magic powder in Alchemy Workshop. Most players won't actually be using that. Just be mainly for the top end players, I suppose for some of the medium level players. If they have like a holy hammer, or if they have some sort of equipment that they don't really use, they can go ahead and get magic powder out of that. But in addition to that, equipment shards can now be obtained through alchemy as well, which is really, really awesome. Especially for the players that just can't seem to get enough shards through other ways, they can go ahead and get it through there as well. It does take 200 powder for 10 shards, so basically it takes 1,000 powder for equipment. That's not too bad at all for that 7th one on the list. They have adjusted Colosseum rewards. Now on there, it doesn't exactly say what those Colosseum reward changes are, but we're just going to go ahead and have to wait on that. Um, but for the last thing, just a simple thing, they've added tap cash um, jewel methods. Basically to get a little bit of free jewels, which helps out just that much better. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next one.